One more note on some of the travel names, Jim. Uh, Deutsche adds UAL as a catalyst buy idea on this uh, 15% drop in the last couple of weeks. Uh, a name Netflix. that they say is very much leveraged to corporate travel and, of course, long-haul international. Right. It, it reminds me of Netflix, and it was a really bad call, UAL. I mean, it was just bad. And we'll hear from Gary uh, Kelly tomorrow, Southwest. But everyone, I, I think one of the things that happened yesterday, Carl, as you correctly pointed out, is United Airlines had a bad quarter, and people were starting to talk about maybe things aren't going to be as robust. I think they're not as robust at United Airlines, and I think that others are doing better. We heard from Delta last week, and I thought Delta was encouraging. I think we're going to hear, when we hear from Gary Kelly, I think he's going to say happy days are here again. I really do. Although I keep coming back to business travel in terms of trying to assess the long-term profitability of the airlines, the importance of business travel can't be understated, No, it Jim. can't be. And we just don't know. I mean, I am hearing people are getting back on airplanes to some extent, but then I also hear things, I mean, um, you know, Pfizer not letting anybody travel this year. Pfizer? Yeah. What, they, they're that confident, confident in their competitive drugs? I mean, I that don't know. they're no, not going to send is, reps I mean, out? And by the way, Detail reps? Who, can, who can get anybody vaccinated more than them, right? I mean, and boosters. Why are there are they? a lot of companies that have basically said, no, no corporate travel this year. Uh, there well, they are, think that. They do think that, and then maybe they will change. But again, back to the idea that we keep talking about, what do you get when you're fully vaccinated? And yet a lot of companies are still grappling with. And then you're also, uh, on the other side, I, you know, I hear obviously bankers who live on airplanes want to go visit people, want to go say, right. let's, and the clients are like, eh, we don't need to. Or I can't let you in the building. Well, yes, let you in the, the building. Alarm, because I have people, on, and this is a really important call. I've got guests who want for mad money, who very much want to come in. And they'll ask me, uh, are you vaccinated? I'm vaccinated. And I have to say, well, that vaccinated's got nothing to do with it. It's like deserves, right? You know, deserves got nothing <laughs> to do with it. Um, I, Clint Eastwood, Gene Hackman, you ever, no? Yeah. Deserve. But it is amazing, Carl. Like, I, you know, I, I, one of the executives who said he wanted to come on, he goes, why won't you let me in? I'm fully vaccinated. And I'm like, I don't know. Because it's our rules, and we have oh, well, rules like good. a lot of others. Most employers are not letting, by there, almost no one's letting anyone outside. I mean, we're barely letting anybody in here who you works know, here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.